Hey, welcome back once again to Dan Machina. On the last episode that we saw, we basically saw that Bell risked it all in order to save Weenie. He was even attacking other adventurers. And then uh, <clears throat> we also saw that towards the end of the episode, uh, Weenie died, and uh, they were able to bring they were able to bring her back with like a spell. Now I'm hoping that that spell is basically just like a one time thing, or if it's not like a one time thing, that they don't use it constantly, because uh, then the uh, death of characters or whatever they wouldn't be as as impactful because then you would just be able to bring them back so I, it would just kind of like i don't know i just don't think it would be good you know what i'm saying <clears throat> and then um anyways uh that's pretty much what happened in the last episode you know bell was uh chasing winnie around and he was trying to trying to like save her and get her to come down and then as i mentioned she died but she was brought back with the spell anyways uh let's just hop in into this one and let's see what the aftermath uh last episode uh let's see what the aftermath of last episode brought uh to this one let's check it out here we go so he's saying they're unable to return to the dungeon and they're still hidden within the city and we and they have the loki familiar basically just like uh i guess keeping guard or whatever trying to trying to like keep them from going back to the dungeon which is, he's saying it's only a matter of time for them to be discovered, which is, um, which I guess is kind of, it's true, you know what I'm saying? You can't just stay down there forever. They're eventually going to search the area and find you. Especially since they're already in, like, the premises. Yeah, he's saying he doesn't care what anybody else thinks. There's someone I'm gonna go see him. He's got a visitor. Let's see. Of course, him. Wow, so he's gonna tell him that he knows about the sandals as well. Yeah, he's like, I've been making moves in the shadows. But he's always kind of doing that, you know what I'm saying? He's always kind of like, uh, <clears throat> ever since the first season, ever since he was introduced in this anime, he's always kind of like made moves behind the scenes and in the shadows. He always seems to be one step ahead of everybody as well. He's gonna tell him. He's like, yeah, they're there. Now the Ganesha familiar has tightened their guard. Uh, I'm, I'm curious what he means about that because last time I checked, the Ganesha familia was helping that was supposed to help him as well. So have they uh, decided not to help him anymore? I don't know. I don't think that's a smart idea, bro. To tell Loki, the Loki familiar Loki. Um, to me, that's not a smart idea. Ah, uh, yeah, he's saying that won't work. Even if Loki agreed, yeah. So he's saying that the the members of the family are not gonna not gonna show mercy, which is <clears throat> we we, we kind of got hinted at that with uh, with Bell's conversation with Ives when he mentioned to her like what she would do, you know what I'm saying? And she basically said that she still kill him. Yeah, for them monsters are monsters. Yeah, and there she is right there. Eyes. Let's see. They always have funny interactions when the three of them are together. Let's see. <laughs> she's that like, step aside, bro. It looks like she's still jealous of eyes. That's her rival, I guess, after all. She's always got that blank look on her face, bro. Like, you can never tell what she's thinking. She's always got that poker face. <laughs> Look at Hester hella dogging her and shit, hella mad. Oh, so she's asking that. Uh, she's asking her for assistance. Well, I mean, technically, I'm guessing she's only asking for you because uh, <clears throat> Aisha is already a member of her family. You know what I'm saying? So she's really got no choice. She she's already involved. So I'm guessing she's asking that. Will you if she if she can help him out as well? I was I was about to say she's asking them for assistance, but I didn't remember that Aisha is now a member of their family as well. Yes, he's saying you're a member of the family, so you will quietly obey. <laughs> oh, she's gonna tell him that Bell's involved in this. Ryu's gonna get involved now. She told him Bell. Aisha's got a little, 
I don't know. She's got a little thing for Bell, kind of, I think, too. Obviously, <clears throat> now this is smart, you know. You're asking the families that uh, that you have ties to as well, you know, because as we know, uh, Wolf and, uh, <clears throat> and uh, Mikoto were originally from, uh, were members of different familias, and these are, obviously, Wolf was from her familia, and then uh, Mikoto was from that other god's familia, so... Obviously, asking them for help uh, makes sense because you got the, I mean, you got the, you got the most ties to them. Basically, you're the closest. They're the closest God, other familias and gods that you're close with is these guys. So it makes sense that uh, that you would ask them, you know, to help you out. Besides, they've helped you out in the past. So see that that was smart asking these uh, those three familias as opposed to asking uh, who they originally wanted to ask. Let's see. Uh, so it looks like they're gonna help him out this time, huh? Well, we kind of knew that that Wolf was gonna want to help him out because he wanted to help him out last time. It's just they didn't they didn't let him get involved. Let's see how she, let's see what I'm curious what she's gonna say though, bro. Like, how does she really feel about all this? I was really feel about this, bro, because uh, even though she's, like, really close to Belle, she's kind of been, uh, you know what I'm saying? She hasn't really been um, on his side about the situation. Obviously, Haruhim is going to be in, too, because, um, yeah. Now, it looks like she's going to help him out this time. I was, su I was surprised she was, like, uh, going against him the past couple of times because, uh, he, he said he, she's one of the persons he saved. I think she's like the first one he saved, uh, Lily, and then he obviously saved her, he may as well. <laughs> I'll pay she may, bro. <clears throat> but using him uh, because he's standing up, which makes sense, you know, a lot of people. Uh, keeping a close eye on him right now, so he would be the perfect candidate to be like a like a distraction or whatever. Uh, use him as bait. What did she t What did she teach you? Oh, she taught uh, repaying with kindness. I'm guessing they're saying, "We'll do something for them later on." She's gonna say or something like that. Watch. Yeah, see, she's saying that we can do something for them later on. What the fuck? Does, how the fuck do they know? That he's, like, how the fuck, what the fuck? That's a little too suspicious, no? How the fuck do they know? I mean, okay, obviously. All right, it's obvious if it's anybody's helping the sandals, it's obviously Bell from what they saw. But how the fuck do they know the exact plan? That he's gonna be the distraction. That's kind of iffy and suspicious, if you ask me, bro. Like, I don't know. Is someone working with them? Is like a, cause, what the fuck? Cause it, it didn't show them like intercept like a message. That's 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 pretty interesting though, bro. <clears throat> All right, that was my reaction to the match episode nine. So basically, we're gonna have a. Uh, Bell as well as a couple other familias are uh, they're gonna help the sandals escape because they're stuck basically they're stuck down there they're stuck on the ground in the city they haven't been able to move and then uh, <clears throat> so they're gonna help them uh, escape but as we saw there there's only I think they said like there's only a couple entrances to like the dungeon and they're all kind of being guarded so they were gonna use Bell as a kind of like a like as a distraction which makes sense because everybody's keeping a close eye on Bell right now like Avery's like watching out for what he's doing and uh Trying to make, trying to see if he's gonna do anything suspicious, so it makes sense to have him be the distraction, to have him, basically, I mean, have him be the distraction, to have him like take a like have everybody go after him, so that way we'll leave like a clear path for the sentinels. But <clears throat> now towards the end, we found out that they they basically pretty much knew the plan that they were gonna use, that they were gonna use Bell as a distraction. That's pretty interesting, cause uh, how the fuck do they know the the exact plan? I mean. Obviously, if someone's helping the sandals, it will be Bell, right? Because, um, you know, he, like I said, 
it's pretty obvious that it's almost something limits him, you know, because after what they saw with the uh, way Bell and uh, was attacking other adventurers and uh, helping win or whatever, it, it was pretty fishy, you know. So it doesn't take a genius to figure out that uh, if someone's going to help him, it's going to be him. But to know the exact plan that they're planning to, to know the exact plan that they're planning to ex execute, basically use Bell as a distraction and everything like that, that's kind of fishy because... Uh, they didn't show them get like an inception of the message or anything like that. So if someone working with them, if someone else trying to get uh, trying to get the Sentinels killed, that's what that's basically what I'm kind of thinking about right now. Cause, in what other ways would they know? Like how else would they know the exact plan that like they plan to use Bell as a, like a, as a distraction? That's <clears throat> pretty fishy. Now I'm trying to like um, now I want to know who how the fuck they found out, bro. Like that's crazy. Uh, anyways, uh, that was my reaction. Uh, to episode 9, uh, pretty good episode, pretty interesting, especially the end part as well, like, as I mentioned, like, how did they figure out the plan, uh, can't wait to watch the next one and see what happens, uh, catch you guys later, take it easy, and, uh, bye.